Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a low poly style portrait like these two pictured here. And you'll see I've already opened up my photo in Photopia. And um, I must stress that although this is quite an easy activity, it is very time consuming. It will take you a long time. OK, right. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in so I can work closer up. And I'm going to start with the area around my eye and I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso tool. And using that tool, I'm going to create my first shape over my first area of color. And then I'm going to go to filter, blur, average. And that's going to turn that part, the average color that's in that part. I'm going to choose another section. And again, I'm going to go to the filters, but this time I'm going to choose last filter because it remembers the last filter I did. And if you remember control alt and F, that will make life a lot quicker because once you remember that, you can create your next shape and then control alt and F and it will do that filter for you without you having to go to the menu. OK, and essentially beyond that point, it's just a case of choosing areas on your face that feel like a natural area of one colour. They don't have to be triangular the whole time. You can do triangles and other shapes, depending on where you feel an area of a particular color is. And you can work at different sizes. I would particularly suggest that around your features, you keep your areas quite small to add a bit more detail in those areas. As you do this, you may feel that some of the averages don't feel like the average color for the section that you put in, but rest assured as you bring the piece together and you add more sections, it all comes together nicely. So don't worry too much. As you can see, I'm spending quite a lot of time around the eye here. I'm going quite fast. You can take as much time as you want. But for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm just quickly laying in these areas. And you'll see I'm dividing these areas up based on where I feel I can see areas of colour. And it's okay also to just slightly overlap the areas as well, as this ensures that you don't have any of the photo showing through any cracks. You might also take opportunities to revise shapes as well with the addition of new shapes. That's absolutely fine too. But as you do it, always think about the structure of the face and how your lines will show the form and also always try and put the same areas of colour into each section so that when you do the average, it does average out to areas of distinct colour from those around them. Features like your eyebrows are definitely something that you want to make sure are shaped properly so you feel the form of the face around your eye. Look for areas where you can see shadow 
and look for areas where you can see highlights and isolate those areas so they really stand out. Just to reiterate, not all your shapes need to be triangles. They can be very random shapes as long as they're working with the contours of your face and isolating those colours, then it will work. And so I'll just work around down to my cheek and the highlight that's under there. It's quite a large area. And again, the area under there is a bit lighter. Okay, I think you're done watching me do this. I think you know the process. And I will cut forward to a point where I have done some more and show you what I've done. Okay, you join me back where I have done a lot more of the face. And you'll notice where I've done features, I've kept my shapes quite small, particularly around the eyes and the nose. And where I've got places where there aren't features, I've increased the size of the shapes. Um, I like the kind of difference there. Right, I'm going to cut forward again. And you join me again with even more done. And I've done my whole face and I've done my beard. And I just wanted to show you the beard, the way that I've tried to use the shapes in a flowing downward direction to show the kind of form of the beard. And I filled the ear in as well. Okay, right, I'm going to cut forward again. And this time you'll see I have finished the piece along with breaking up the background into different blues. And I've got one last thing I want to do. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. And I'm just going to whack up the contrast quite a lot and bring the brightness down just a little bit. And then I'll click OK. And that is my piece done and dusted. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.